This video will cover TempTrack's NIST capabilities. Some facilities are under the watchful eye of accreditation groups like NIST to make sure that third-party devices monitoring their equipment meet specific accuracy standards. With TempTrack, your facility or department will meet the requirements by standards groups like NIST by providing tracking and reporting of validation sessions. Please note, NIST tracing a transmitter can be performed by a certified Cooper Atkins technician or by an individual on your site. In order to perform a NIST validation session, you will need to have a Cooper Atkins NIST Prover box. This device comes with four preset temperatures, either in Fahrenheit or Celsius, and a pogo probe that connects to the prover box to the transmitter terminal block. Please note, it is recommended that prover boxes be recalibrated on a yearly basis. It is also important to note that NIST sessions validated using the prover box validates the reading sent by the transmitter not the reading sent from the sensor included in the probe. The sensor must be replaced or recertified. To start a NIST session, click on the Configuration tab on the left and then select NIST Sessions. On the NIST tab, there are two sections. The top section quickly explains the NIST process and how to validate one or more transmitters. You will need to follow the steps outlined here when doing a NIST session. The bottom section will show you how to start new NIST session. Please note, the temperature type displayed to the right of the reference temperatures is based on user settings from the temperature type. If you need to change the temperature type, go to the settings up in the top menu bar and then select Fahrenheit or Celsius then save. To start a new NIST validation session, you will need to enter in the prover ID which is located on the back of the prover box. You can then enter in a prover description. The four reference values are the temperature values on the front of the prover box. You will need to enter these in. You can then add any additional comment. Once you have filled in all the fields, click the start button. Your NIST validation session has now started. Most notably on this page, you will see the start of the outstanding validation session, what prover box is being used, and who started the session. To the far right are maintenance actions. Here, you can stop a session, which indicates you are finished, or you can cancel a session if you want to delete it. You can also view a report on the current session. If you click on the session report link, a report showing the current NIST validation session is displayed with any transmitters that have been validated. If you are in the middle of a validation of a transmitter, you will need to click on the reset button on the transmitter and to refresh the data, you can hit F5 on your computer keyboard. The previous NIST Sessions tab displays a list of all NIST validation sessions which have been performed. This list shows when sessions started and ended, what prover box was used, who started the session, and more. Here, you can pull up the session report for a previously completed NIST validation session. The NIST Validation Summary tab shows a list of the most recent NIST sessions for transmitters that have been NIST validated.